Kon Jatikavanit, a former investment banker and a veteran politician, has been hitting the campaign trail for weeks now. What has he learned so far from the people he meets on the streets? It's actually, uh, you know, walking the street, uh, meeting folks, uh, talking about their problems, their lives. I think it's important as a politician because too often we sit around thinking about policies and we think in theoretical terms. Um, and it is by going down, meeting people in their homes, mm -hmm. in their communities, that we are reminded of what is really important. <laughs> um, and basically, uh, it, uh, it, it's, a, it's a nice, gentle, constant reminder for us to always be real and be authentic and to understand that politics should not be something that is too complicated or too complex. Uh, the people's needs are actually very basic and straightforward. Right, I think the most common complaint easily uh, over the past couple of years now um, has been cost of living, uh, has been matters related to economic uh, opportunities. No money in the pocket. Yeah, uh, too much debt, uh, cost of living too high, price of petrol, price of food, um, and uh, yeah, lack of opportunity. So, so very much what we hear, or what I hear, are uh, uh, economic issues. Gon and his Chat Patanakla party has put forth a bold campaign platform that Gon believes will effectively address the most pressing issues facing the people. One is that everybody have, can have a good job. Uh, two, everybody has money, sufficient amount of money in their pocket. And three, that the cost of living uh, is at a reasonable level. And, and you know, all of our policies uh, are geared towards delivering um, these results. And, and so that's what we're about. Uh, if you were to ask where we stand in terms of political spectrum, I would, all of us would say that we're liberal Democrats. Mm. Uh, we believe, what does that mean? We believe in competition. Very much. I, I think in the absence of anything else, competition is more likely uh, to help uh, secure the, the best interest for the people uh, than lack of competition. Mm. And, and in, in Thailand, many a time, I think competition does a better job than having independent yeah. regulators even. And uh, as long as the competition is free and fair. Mm. Be, by being liberal Democrats, we also uh, believe in uh, differences, yeah. uh, in the fact that people are different. And people may have different beliefs, they have different tastes, and we all should find ways to cohabitate, mm. um, accept, and celebrate, uh, in fact, the differences. Yeah. So that is translated into all kinds of different policies that are all consistent uh, with us being liberal Democrats. Mm. The fact, for example, that you know, we, we have a, a, a liberal view towards um, sexual orientation yeah. issues with the LGBTQ. Uh, we have a liberal view towards uh, wanting to break down monopolies mm -hmm. um, in order to allow uh, small businesses to be able to compete fairly. We have a liberal view on what we think we need to do with government bureaucracy. Yeah. Um, and that is to, uh, again, create greater transparency there. One of Chad Patanagla party's campaign promises is to generate as much as 5 trillion baht in revenue for the national coffer in five years. Is that something possible? I think that's a very achievable goal. Uh, bearing in mind that our GDP at the moment is what, 17 trillion? Mm. We're adding 5 trillion in five years. Mm. That's a reasonable rate of growth. It's not an impossible rate of growth. And way below what we were able to achieve as a country in prior years. So I, I, as long as the strategy is clear. Now, going back to the issue of uh, public policy, I think it is very important for us to uh, help calculate uh, what the fiscal burden is to each and every uh, political um, policy offering mm -hmm. by political parties. Yeah. When people talk about uh, what um, payment to the poor to mm -hmm. 700 baht or 1,000 yeah. baht uh, per person per month, I think they need to be challenged in terms of, okay, how much is that going to cost and where is that going to come from? As the presumptive Prime Minister candidate of Chad Patanakla party, what kind of leader does Gon envisage himself to be? 
Um, not so much top down, but definitely hands on and definitely consensus building. Uh, but um, I think somebody who, who first of all understands how the world's changing, Thailand's part in, in that world, understand the needs of the people, um, and, and truly believe in the people. Mm. Believe that uh, given the opportunities, uh, they can achieve, they can, they can succeed. And, uh, and that's why it cannot be top down. Gone acknowledges that the rising rivalry between the two superpowers, the US and China, is a major challenge facing Thailand. Well, you know, um, it, everybody can, wants other countries to be on their side. Yeah. So it, it's natural that uh, both would, would, would want clarity or as much as possible on this issue by countries that they consider to be their friends. Um, but every country has to look after its own. Yeah. And, um, and we're, we're no exception. I've always felt, first of all, uh, that we need to build on the concept of ASEAN as something to help promote our, uh, our, our best interests. Uh, basically, individually, we're too weak. Yeah. Um, but uh, together, all of a sudden, we're not just quite strong, we're very strong. Mm. And, um, but the challenge, therefore, is, is working towards a more united uh, ASEAN. And the problem is we've lacked leadership within this region. Um, to, we've lacked any single national leader willing and, and, and wanting to take up this challenge.